High Earth Energies, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to be taking a look at um, whether or not your person here has moved on from you. So um, it doesn't matter whether, you know, the two of you were involved in a relationship, in a marriage, or a partnership of some sort, or even if you were just loosely involved with this person. We want to know whether they've moved on from you, or is there still hope for this connection? As always, these messages, guys, are general, so please just be mindful of that. If you are after personal tarot readings myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and see whether or not your person here has moved on. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I feel like a part of them has moved on, but I feel like there's another part that's still holding on here. Maybe holding on to what the two of you once had, holding on to the possibility of a possible reconnection, reconciliation, a possibility of, you know, coming back together, revisiting things, or they're holding on to the memories. Um, they're holding on to hope here. I feel like, or maybe they're just still holding on to you, okay? So I feel like, um, in part, I feel like they have moved on. You've got the aces here, and aces are all about new beginnings. You've got the six of wands, which is all about forward momentum. You know, it's, it's movement here, it's progression, it's movement in the right direction. So I feel like it's kind of like, it's looking like 50-50. There's still... Um, there's still love there. I feel like all is not lost here with your person's energy. There's still a very strong romantic energy here. I feel like your person loves you. And I feel like even if they move on from you, they will always love you. Okay, because I feel like you will always have a special place in their heart. The Seven of Pentacles tells me that, look, I feel like they're still invested. Okay, so maybe they're trying their best to move on. Um, and you know, and in in a way, in a sense, maybe they have, maybe they have moved on. But when they go to sleep at night, or you know, when they're really honest with themselves, um, and when they're really truthful with themselves, yes, they still love you. Yes, they still feel emotionally connected to you. Yes, they still maybe hope for a reconciliation one day. The two of you going separate ways really meant that their world sort of fell apart. Okay, and I feel like. There were other things around them that were also falling apart at this time, which has sort of heightened all of their emotions and their sensitivity. Okay, because, you know, you leaving he meant everything else fell apart for them as well, or everything else just, you know, uh, came crumbling and collapsing here. But the lover's card, I feel like your person is still romantically connected to you, and I don't know that they're still, I don't know that they've entirely let go of you emotionally. I feel like this. They still care for you. They do. They still care for you. And I feel like if given the opportunity here, yeah, they would go back to what the two of you once had. There's still a fire that burns between the two of you. It may not be as big and bright as it were on the, you know, in the beginning or when you guys first met. But there's still something there. There's definitely, you know, an opportunity here for maybe for um, some growth or some expanding, you know, some expanding energy in the future. So there's still... There's still something there um, with the aces, some sort of some sort of fire still flickers, still burns between the two of you. There's still an attraction, a passion, an interest, still a romantic energy here. So I'm going to pentacles. It's like your person here is waiting here, or I don't know if a part of the reason why this connection sort of ended was because. There was a lot of waiting here, okay? There was a lot of waiting. Uh, maybe your person was also very heavily focused on career, and unfortunately, the relationship here fell a little bit to the wayside. But I guess, but I get a sense that this is waiting. Now, because you're coming up as, you know, the um, Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, maybe you're the one that's waiting, okay? Maybe you're the one that's waiting on them, or you're waiting for them to reconnect and reach out. Maybe you're the one that's doing all the waiting here, because I can see that there is someone here who's invested a lot, and I feel like maybe your energy, you feel as though you were 
you, you invested so much of yourself into this person and into this relationship and you felt like they didn't give you back not even half of what you put forward so i can see that there is slight disappointment and frustration and you know there's quite an upset here with you and i can see that guys because i feel like you've put in so much time so much of your time your energy even your resources into this connection and you were left disappointed because you don't feel like this person loved you in the way that you deserve to be loved or you don't feel like this person gave you the time the attention that you truly deserved here um for some of you i guess the message that i have for you and for those of you who are doing some waiting you know there's nothing wrong with waiting for um you know with waiting for your person but I suppose if you are going to wait for anyone, I feel like it's a good idea to maybe give yourself a time frame or a deadline because unfortunately, and that's just, you know, me truthfully speaking, for some people you could end up waiting forever, guys. So if you're gonna wait for this person, that's fine. Maybe just give yourself a time frame, you know, um, three months from now, six months from now, or up to a year, and you know, if nothing has happened since then, um, then maybe it's a good idea to move on because whilst there is still something there and whilst this person I feel like is still I can see that they're still very much attached to you okay now they may not necessarily for some of you maybe it's not so much that they're emotionally attached to you maybe they're more so attached to the fact that you know they've had they've had some the two of you had something going on like you've set up a life together you might have even had a business going together you might have moved in together you know bought a home together a property or two so maybe they're attached to what the two of you built here, okay? And maybe they don't want to let that go here. Maybe it's that for some of you. So maybe they're, you know, and yes, maybe there's still feelings there, but maybe they're more attached to the life that you set up rather than, you know, what you had once going. So that's also important to note here. Um, with the tower, I feel like the tower is here. And the reason why it showed up is it's sort of like to remind you that, you know, the reason why the relationship faltered here maybe the the it wasn't strong enough to begin with okay and maybe the fact that the two of you went separate ways or you know you're going through this period of separation is because you need it okay maybe it's a chance to rebuild things and this time make the foundational structure more healthier more stronger more sturdier for others you know it's it's sort of like a test okay whatever you know lightning strikes here and whatever doesn't if this relationship cannot withstand the storm or we cannot withstand the test of times then maybe this person is in your one and maybe they're not strong enough and maybe they're not the one worth waiting for okay so i feel like ultimately you know it's sort of like it's whether or not this relationship here can stand the storm okay and if the relationship drowns from underneath you know the the the, the stormy weather then maybe it, it just wasn't strong enough it just wasn't strong enough to withstand because storms are going to come and go and, you know, a lot of the time storms are there to disrupt or to disrupt your path. A lot of the times they're there to clear your path. And for some of you, you know, this tower moment that you're going through, because I feel like this relationship is very much in this connection, is another influence of the tower, um, you know, the tower card here. And I feel like it's sort of like it, it's testing you. It's testing you whether this relationship is strong, is strong enough for some of you it is strong enough and it's giving you a chance to rebuild the faltering structures the faltering um, foundations for others of you it may just not be strong enough and what you had was a good thing but maybe just wasn't meant to last all right guys and these are the messages i have for you i just want to thank you all for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel liking sharing or commenting i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages so stay tuned thanks guys again bye for now